Teddy Lee, and I'm the designer for Rogue Legacy. My name is Gordon McLattery. I'm the sound designer and one of the musicians from Rogue Legacy. Hey, I'm with the guys behind Rogue Legacy. Can you tell me a little bit about Rogue Legacy? Uh, yeah, so Rogue Legacy, the genealogical Rogue Light. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Let me do. Can you talk? You got to talk a lot. Oh, okay. Louder. Okay. Ready? Louder. Yeah, yeah. Let me just do it again. Start over again. Okay. Ready? Tell me when we're ready. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm here with the guys behind Rogue Legacy. Let's hear what they have to say. Uh, so, Rogue Legacy, the genealogical Rogue Light, where every time you die, your children take over and try to avenge you. Uh, each child has a like, genetic trait. So, one can be colorblind, or another could have gigantism or Georgeism. And it changes the way like, the game's going to be played right from the get go. And you, and how are you involved with the game? Uh, so, I'm the game designer. How long has Rogue Legacy been out? Uh, it's been out for about three months now. So uh, we've released on Steam, on uh, Amazon, Good Old Games, and on uh, Sir Humble. Uh -huh. And so what, what have fans been saying about uh, So fans have uh, liked it a lot, which has been like, really nice. Uh, the, the reaction has been really positive. And so you know we've been just trying to do stuff to, to what fans have wanted, so like the Max Linux score and you know, some free content challenges. So, what, when you're designing the music, did you think about uh, constant death and people coming back to life, or did that have any? Uh, we did have to make it so it was like very catchy and listenable for a long time, and that's a nice compliment that we've been getting a lot. Is that people are saying like I've been playing the game for 15 hours and I haven't turned the sound off yet. So like that's a big compliment as a sound designer, which has been really nice. Um, these guys were really good to work with because they gave me a lot of freedom to kind of write what I wanted for the most part. And uh, it, read, it led to having a soundtrack that I'm really proud of. Great. And where did the concept of people dying and uh, their children taking over come from? Uh, so that actually came on as just more of a, uh, a system to cover up the way of a front-loading chain, right? Because ah. uh, in rogue, rogue games, uh, change happens usually as you progress through your adventure. So it depends. Uh, depending on the game you can play, it could be one hour before you become significantly different or like ten minutes. And for our game, we wanted to make it zero minutes, right? So how did, how would you do that? And so uh, we, the traces have kind of came from that. Oh, and what's the worst genetic disorder you can be born with? Uh, well, we call them genetic traits, just you know, okay. just because. But uh, probably vertigo. Which okay. I don't even think that's a genetic trait. That's just something people have, right? Like, <laughs> but whatever, you know. We're not we're not being. What happens in the game when you have vertigo? Like, on the, screen, uh, you know, like... the whole screen goes upside down. So oh, like, you're playing backwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, it's just geez. yeah. No, nobody survives. And before I go, how is it being at Indie Both of you. It's great. It's, it's hot, but uh, I mean, it's been really nice to meet so many other developers. Do you mean it's actually physically hot in it's here, or physically is it... hot? Okay, gotcha. It's physically, but is it? Also hot, like yeah, I'm with the action. I'm with all the like, accident. No, <laughs> I'm not that hip. <laughs> same yeah, thing. same thing. I, I feel like this fire station will burn down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well thanks a lot, you guys. It was a pleasure talking to you.